Hey, what's up everybody? Tanvir here. Welcome back to my Adobe XD course. Hope you guys are all doing well. Today we are going to learn how to work with assets and components in Adobe XD. So let's jump into XD. So here you go. You can see here I have already created a website design just the hero section and to see the document assets you have to click here on the libraries panel at the left side here just click on it here and this is the layers panel here you will see all of the document layers and this is the plugins tab I've already introduced you these tabs in the first video and also I will talk about this plugin section in the next video so right now we'll talk about this document assets tab so document assets are categorized by four options uh, colors character styles components and videos that means you can add colors here character and components and also videos here this is a new feature in Adobe XD so first start with the colors option select this call to action button here and select here add a color from selection you can see here it just created a color from the selection and also you can select the text element to create a color from it and also you can select the shape here to create a color from it now let me show you how you can use your document assets these colors to save your time when you are working on your projects to show you that let me create a new artboard and now get a new shape here a square suppose you want to use this color from here click here from the color and it will automatically change the fill color like this or you can use any of it it's very easy there are a few more ways to use these colors here for example if you want to change all of this yellow color from all the artboards to do that just select the yellow color and right click on your mouse from your mouse and click here on edit now just change the color here and you can see all of the yellow colors from the from all the artworks it will automatically change so this is how you can modify your document assets color and you can rename the color from here like this i am doing here white like this and to find any color from the document asset you just put here what are you looking for like this and you will see your specific result here and here you can see the filter of short options you can filter all the components and assets by name and custom order and also you can see grid view and now let's see the character styles for that just click on this text element here the nature is beautiful this text click here to add a character style on the plus icon and if you hover on this element here you can see its height font weight line spacing and character spacing at the same time let me delete this shape here and created text here 
first of all change the fill color of it yeah now it's fine let's change the font size and font family of it and for example if you want to use this font property here for this font just simply click on this here and it will automatically change the font property it's not visible because it's white let's change its color by clicking on it here see the change here we don't need to change it manually we just change it by clicking here to these character styles so that's it for the character styles and one more thing you need to know that is if you want you can change its color font weight font property font family here and a few adjustments here uppercase lowercase and a few options and as example to see the character style just duplicate this text element here and select this character style and edit it if you change its color it will automatically change the color here you can see the difference like this so this is how you can use the character style and next we'll talk about the components components are basically a few objects or can be a image icons or shapes or group of text and elements as example if you select this text and buttons here you can make it a component here already created it as a component go to the layers panel here and select the zero folder here and make it a component like this you can see the hero image is a folder here we have a custom shape and also a layer mask with a rectangle shape and a image and we have make it a whole component here you can see the hero component and text here to see the example just delete this shape and we can use the components here like this just drop here see the whole component is here and also you can drag and drop your text here The text section is under the here section just move it you can see the change here so like this you can use your document assets and components in your projects or designs without creating it manually again and again and also you can edit this component here just right click from your mouse and edit main component select this text here and if you change the text fill color like this it will automatically change the fill color in the both artboard see and also if you change the text here like i love you and also it will change the text here too So now let's move to the videos here let's undo the changes yeah now it's fine to see the video we have to import a video here and also let me create a new artboard again now go to file here and select here import and let me import a youtube video from my channel here this one you can see the video is here 
also here we can see a few controls play sound cut loop playback and if you select the video you can just click on this here to add it as an asset so basically the video is useful for your website design project suppose your client want to use a video background in the hero section then you can import a video here and send him to as a prototype or you can share the whole website design as a live demo and then your client will be able to see the website with the video in the background and also you can make the video as a component here like this or you can also resize the video width and height so that's all for today in the next video i will talk about the repeat grid meanwhile you guys stay focused and keep learning